How many times have we seen that from Mac Mac? His patented jump hook. But you know, you have to give credit to Jason Castro. He gave it up to the man whom they knew was going to take the last shot under time pressure. Jason Castro knew who's the go-to guy. Wilson with the travel turnover and talking text. We'll get the basketball back here at the 406 mark of the third. Jared Dillinger. And now seeing action. Yes, and Tarangay Nebra going back to a man to man defense. Dillinger watched by Kagiwa. Now Alapag. And Harvey Carey had the possession, but was, it, was in a hurry to get it back in. Mark Kagiwa. He's been in situations like this before. Interception by Cardona. Now Alapag on the way with the bucket. And JJ Heldebrand did the right thing. Just let him get the layup. No need to foul him. Intal. Using the Eric Meng screen. Now they go to Meng. Now Helderbrand from outside. JJ oh, yes. Helderbrand, nothing but net. Big contribution now for Helderbrand with eight points. And very quickly. Oh, talking text missing inside. And now the red shirts are running. Now it's with JC and Town sidestepping move. And then Carey with the lead pass. Cardona. Oh, they call the foul on Willie Wilson. And again. That was a preemptive foul. The fast-paced uh, game back here in the third as we hear the buzzer. And that means this will be a timeout. Uh, talk and text. This time we'll talk things over. 2.52 left in uh, quarter number three. Enrico Villanueva checking in. And uh, earlier, LJ Moreno. Now, uh, Jericho Rosales. So a lot of uh, the celebrities have come out to enjoy the ball game here. Earlier, of course, we saw Richard Gomez. And, and, pa uh, and Paulo Trillo in the building. Uh, and of course, <laughs> <laughs> alongside Kenita Enson. <laughs> No, but we have a nice, uh, just a, a packed crowd here oh, inside yes. the Araneta Coliseum. And uh, what a ball game, really. Both Talk and Tex and Barangay Ginebra slugging it out. And this is just a part of the things to come. I mean, we're just in the quarterfinal stage. Can you imagine the collision course in the semifinals? And then we move into the finals. Helderbrand to Intal. Eric Meck begging for the ball down low and then he goes out. Now Helderbrand will not get it. JJ, one more time. Red shirts all over. And they're hustling to get possession. A new, pos a new uh, shot clock here, so let's see. Tagiwa oh, getting yes. it. The basket and a foul. Oh, driving down the middle. That's what you call taking charge. You watch it right there. Well, he knew that he couldn't get a jump shot over the outstretched arms of the much taller Dillinger. So he had to improvise. Drive down the middle, use his speed to get a half step past Dillinger and then score the jump hook. And you know, even if uh, Mark Kagewa may not be 100% uh, in this ball game, he know that he's been in situations like this before and he knows how to... Uh, step up in oh, uh, yeah. games like this and you have to respect his offense the guy has a stroke Cardona 10 seconds on the shot clock here for talking text Jared Dillinger Elderbrand now will set it up Eric Mick, Mark the Spark, looking to shoot Castro. Now we go back the other way. Here's Jason Castro, burst of speed, escaping the defense. Lightning quick on the move. And Jason Castro 
Now with seven points. And the way he was able to elude the defense and score inside. I mean, for a small man to do that. And take a look at Lou Reef to breathe. This factor, an X mark for Barangay Nebra. Because in the assist to turnover ratio, you see the difference. Talking oh. text with a positive. Oh, Dillinger was denied by Intal on the other end. And then Harvey Carey. That's a hard foul by Harvey Carey. But Carey got him downstairs, so they're not going to call any sort of flagrant on that one. Just take a look at this block right there. And then the pickup by J.J. Heldebrand. You see the foul given up by Harvey Carey. A smart one to get. That's a playoff foul right there. Right. It doesn't get any uh, harder than that. If Harvey Carey had have tried to block the shot or gone up, might have been called for a flagrant, flagrant, but he opted to give the foul downstairs. Right thing to do because he just wanted to stop the layup and put J.C. Intel on the line. Well, J.C. Intel again, another big offensive performance here. The lead all scorers with 18 points. Dillinger. From outside, looking for a friend, he finds Cardona. Macmac against Intal. Loose ball is. This will stay with uh, the Tropan Dexters. Good defense there by Intal on Macmac Cardona. The ball staying in the hands of Cardona a little bit too long. And Intal making it difficult for Cardona to execute. But he wants to take the shot right now. Ooh. Off the mark, Castro will try to save it. And Barangay Hinebra now with a chance to up the slim one point advantage. The Fast and the Furious haven't been together for a while. Here they are in the third quarter. Eric Mech now. JC Intal on rhythm and he gets it. JC Intal with 21 points and three three pointers in the ball game. And what about the assist coming from Eric Meng? He's playing a solid all around game. He's looking for kickouts, he's looking for JC Intal to find his spot outside. Cardona to Castro. Oh, yes. Jason Castro the buzzer. to beat it, to beat the buzzer here. And what a ball game, both teams going at it. Our refs are, are going to double check and uh, see uh, Kenita if this is officially counted. It looks like that shot came off on time. You watch it there. He released and still no red signal. Still and time yeah, on the clock. A lot yes. of time left. That shot will count. And you know, that shot may spell the difference in this ball game. We'll have to wait and see. But 79 to 78 as we end quarter number three. Barangay Hinebra holding on to a one-point lead. The talking text, dropping texters looking to close it out here in game number three of this quarterfinal matchup against Barangay Hinebra. But the Kings have something in mind. They're looking to extend. Uh, their series here. It's a one point lead for the Red Shirts. Jared Dillinger. Nice crossover move as you take a look at our quarter scoring. What a big explosion by Talking Text in the third period, outscoring uh, Barangay Hinebra by 12 in that crucial turnaround. But still, Hinebra holding on to a slim one point lead entering the fourth and final period. Cardona, high pass inside, almost picked off. Now Mac Mac to Harvey Carey, only three seconds on the shot clock, and Villanueva will control the possession. Oh, nice pick and roll right there. Rico Villanueva rolling to the basket after setting the pick for uh, Mark Kagiwa. Yes, Kagiwa making things happen again, finding Villanueva inside. And talking Dex defense, not quick enough to rotate. Villanueva finding his way 
open to the path, but missing his free throw. Well, you know, same story uh, here in game number three. In game number two, uh, you need to talk and text was down by a big margin. They came back, went on to win that game. Here in this ball game, they were down by 15 points uh, for those televiewers who have just joined us. And they have caught up now down by one. And uh, the question is, will Barangay Hinebra have enough to hold them off this time around? And two missed free throws here for Enrico Villanueva. Chiqui Reyes has something for us. Chiqui. Thank you, Paolo. In the last huddle of Inebra, Coach Jong said that they cannot keep on exchanging baskets. They need stops for offense. He wants Rico to get the ball in the post and go one-on-one. -on -one. If a double shows up, Coach Jong wants the weak side players to cut and get a pass from Rico. Paolo. Okay, so watch out for Rico Villanueva to be more assertive down low as Ali Peak picks up a bucket. And Ali Peak and Jimmy Alapak have been so consistent for talking text, just getting their points very quietly and providing adequate support for their other star players. Willie Wilson. Whoa! How did he get that one up? That's another roll to the basket by Willie Wilson. Off the pass coming from Marcus Spark. Still sticking with a 2-3 zone defense is Barangay Nebra. Cardona getting ready to launch. Mac Mac Cardona! You could already see it coming. A three-point bomb. Remember, he has averaged only 11.5 points in the quarterfinals. He now has 18. What about protecting the interior? In the third quarter, Talking Tex had 18 inside points. Hinebra only eight. That's a big X mark for Barangay Hinebra as far as protecting the interior is concerned in the third period. Talking Tex with a defensive stop. Castro now. In the paint. Barangay Hinebra will go the other way, long pass. That's a hard tackle right there. Macba Cardona, but he's down on the floor. He's being helped up by Mark Kagiwa. You know, Cardona and uh, Kagiwa go back uh, to the Carson City playgrounds. I think they, they must have played each other in Carson City in Los Angeles. Kagiwa will now Take a rest, Ronald Tubid, who has uh, been quiet offensively. Oh, he's here. Is now back in the game. He's zero out of five from the floor. He has not scored in this game. And Coach Joseph Ichiko not wanting to push Kagiwa to the limit. Ronald Tubid. Now Willie Wilson inside again. Oh, Wilson yes. getting away, getting the bucket. And now a chance for a three-point play. Well, you know he's the non-scorer on the floor for Barangay Nebra, so the defense is not paying that much attention to him. As you see him drive against two big men, he eluded Rani Del Campo, and then he got the shot off Ali Peak. Well, this has been a close one. We're all tied again at 83 all. Wilson. Now we'll try to get Barangay Hinebra back the lead. So far in this ballgame, we've had nine deadlocks. As uh, Barangay Hinebra now with a one-point advantage. Dubit is back in there to, to tackle Cardona uh, to get him. But instead, uh, coming up with a foul. Now he's playing in denial, so he pushes Mark Cardona outside of the paint court and into the bench. He's probably wishing that Cardona goes back to the bench. But that's not going to happen with 9.16 left in this game. Cardona, they go to the mighty mouse, Alapag. Harvey Carey. Offensive foul on Carey. That's good defense by Barangay Nebra. They held strong. They stood their ground and Harvey Carey initiating the contact. And that's why the call was made. Some substitutions here. Cyrus Baggi will come in for Intal. Uh, Harvey Carey will head to the bench. Now Ali Peak is there. And the glaring missing element here for Barangay Nebra is Tubit's offense. 
Villanueva at the post. They go to Baggio. 